Well, the sun is shining on this second day here at Taunton, Surrey. We'll start 236 for eight. I think a frustrating and in a way disappointing day for Surrey yesterday. Really got themselves back into the first day with Stephen Davis and Zafar Ansari at the crease. And then those four wickets they lost before and after tea really put them on the back foot. But this morning, Matt Pillans and Ben Folks will look to add as many runs as possible. As you can see, it's windy. It's playing havoc with my hair. And we have the annual church service starting in a moment with the Bishop of Bath and Wells. So it is all go here at Taunton on day two. And as always, you'll miss none of the action here on Surrey TV. Surrey skipper Gareth Batty produced figures of 7 for 32 as Surrey battled back against Somerset to take the initiative on a day where 18 wickets fell at Taunton. Two hundred and thirty six for eight overnight, Surrey started the day with Ben Folkes and Matthew Pillins at the crease. Folkes started brightly, but then was bowled by Craig Overton for thirty one. Pillins lasted until the end of the inning, scoring thirty four not out in the process, but he ran out of partners with the score at two hundred and sixty four. Stuart Meeker caught by Overton off Grunwald for one, bringing the Surrey innings to a close. Not a great first innings total on initial inspection, but that was to change as the day wore on. Abel and Triscothic kicked things off for the hosts, and they put together a useful opening partnership of 46, both batsmen contributing with boundaries. However, from the 14th over onwards, the scorecard was to read like a horror show for Somerset, as they lost all 10 wickets for just 56 runs. Abel was first to go, LBW Mika for 25, and in the next over, Triscothic fell two, LBW to Batty for 12. Hildreth became the third in the very next over, bowled by Mika for five, Somerset 53 for three. Chris Rogers was to post the second highest score in the team, three boundaries in his 19 before he fell to Batty. And Trago became the spinner's third of the day, LBW for just 12. Two balls later, Batty had a fourth, Craig Overton caught by Burns, and the final four wickets went in three overs for just nine runs. Davis caught Mika off Batty for four, giving the Surrey skipper his five for. Allenby caught Sangakara off Mika for nine, and Leach was bowled Batty for a paltry one. Jamie Overton went the same way for the same score as Somerset were all out for 102. Gareth Batty, the undeniable star of the show, with 7 for 32 off 9. So Surrey began their second innings with a lead of 162 runs, but their second innings started poorly when Haranath was caught by Triscothic off Craig Overton for 13 in the 8th over. Burns offered some resistance before falling to Leach, clean bowl for 8, and the revolving door in Taunton just kept on spinning as Kumar Sangakkara became the next man back in the pavilion when he was caught behind off Craig Overton for three. Although Wilson struck a couple of boundaries, the visitors were soon four down when Davis was caught by Hildreth off Leach. And after tea, the wickets continued to fall. Wilson this time bowled by Jamie Overton for 11 and the 18th wicket of the day fell when Craig Overton caught Curran off Leach for five. At this stage, the visitors were 51 for six, but Folks and Ansari managed to stem the tide as they batted through until stumps. Surrey 94 for six, a lead of 256 with four second innings wickets intact. Well, it's been a lively day and I think all in all you, you end up in a, a pretty good position, don't you? Uh, yeah, certainly exciting. A few more wickets uh, fell, yes, in, in favour of us, but also maybe a little bit towards the end, a few more than we would have liked. Uh, but we're well within the uh, grasp of winning this game, and we've just got to make sure that we back it up tomorrow morning, start well, and then the game is ours, in my opinion.